-hmm. So it is just taking a course, which you know by your hobby, is that you can be able to have it uh, translated into a business. You can do it yourself, mm -hmm. if not employed, because you find opportunities come. But with a skill, what are you doing else, mm -hmm. if you're not employed? So in entrepreneurship, then we say, uh, our trainings are major, uh, usually major on the focus, or mainly focus on uh, mm -hmm. the core thing, but also we have uh, free courses like for marketing, how do you market for your uh, business? How do okay. you source for your finances? Mm -hmm. How do you manage the business? And how do you prepare for this as a business plan? How do you do everything that revolves around if you're not employed, then go it yourself. Okay. Because opportunities are always there. They are, in Kenya we don't have shortage of opportunities. It's only how do we manipulate them. How to get to them. How do how you get, yes. If you have the skill, that's one step. Mm -hmm. You then look at what else can I do to be able to uh, bridge that gap. And luckily, yeah. we have some organizations mm -hmm. which, are, which are doing the support. Yeah. Yeah. You, if you have an idea, then if you can trust it, if the business is viable, then mm -hmm. they are ready to finance and mentor you. Okay, amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that in Kenya, Kenya uh, we need to um, create that culture I, from a tender age that people should think about what they can do and not fixed on being employed, you know, entrepreneurship being introduced from even high school and mm -hmm. everything so that when they get to TVET or any higher institution of learning, they have this in mind. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stephanie. You find that uh, in the old system that we are just about to face out, the 844, uh, if you just have KCSE, no matter which grade you, get, you got, it can be an A. But even in that, you are not employable. You are just like, you are a green as someone who, 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 who just, yeah. just with a KC, KC, K, KCP. Mm -hmm. So you find that you are just given a platform. We have not created the pathway, uh, the career pathway of what you want to do. Exactly. Yeah, and also you find that in college, university, that's why we equalize. You scored an A, you scored an IE, then yeah. the career-wise, we are just at par. Mm -hmm. But with the current, um, the, new, the new system of CBC, we are just having the career development right from the scratch. You right. are taking the path as early as you are uh, age of eight, okay. then we, you specialize from long, long ago. Is okay. You don't have to eat for KC, uh, KCP, because now so you have to, mm -hmm. if you score very, uh, very good grades in, a KC, uh, in KC, KC, KCSE, mm -hmm. then if you, by, by any chance you take a wrong course, or the one that is not well connected with the market, then you find that that student is, is, will come back. Yeah. Before now he comes back to, uh, retract and, and, and see which, which career path he, should, he or she should take. Okay. Yeah. So for someone who has taken the wrong course mm -hmm. and they want to chase themselves back, can they, they are also open to coming to a TVET institution and getting a diploma or a certificate on something that they can quickly learn, get the skills in and get into the market, right? Exactly. Because in the 20, 21st century, uh, we are saying education or career development is right from Mm -hmm. There is no end. By the age of 29, if you are just doing the education, by 35, by 40, we expect that you are going to be renewing your, your, mm -hmm. your career because we find that the job market or the, the job industry is quickly evolving. All right. Yeah, so that's why Tibet is there. You can re-engineer your, okay. career, your career from time to time. All right. If you did a course by when you are in your youth, then you are still open. You can come back to Tibet. Uh, shorter time, less, less cost, and you achieve your goal. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Now, taking you back to the STEM courses mm -hmm. that um, is at the center of the heart of Tibet institution in line with the government's goal 2030, where we are going as a country, how would you advise someone, or why would you advise someone to take up Mm -hmm. a course in the STEM courses because they are usually perceived as very hard or meant for a specific <laughs> people, <laughs> you know, and, and maybe it should be driven by passion or, you know, are you saying that it's only people who think they can do it or are you advising people to get into this STEM courses because that's the future? Well, thank you. You find that um, in Tivet, uh -huh. we have quite a variety of courses, but now the focus is on STEM courses. Yeah. Why we are doing so is because uh -huh. uh, one, the career uptake or the job absorption rates mm -hmm. for, for STEM courses is more. 
secondary. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, you, you find that those doing electrical or any engineering course, mm -hmm. probably those, they are the people who think that I did well in physics. Yeah, yeah true. We don't check on that nowadays. You don't check on your grade that is called in maths. Mm -hmm. You still can be a, an, an engineer because mm -hmm. whatever was there in primary school and secondary school is quite different. Now this is defined <laughs> to the career. You okay. get it? For instance, for somebody who is just going to do business, mm -hmm. the only mathematics be, be, they, they may require is only statistics. Statistics and a bit of financial management and accounting. For those doing uh, engineering, they only mm -hmm. require, they, they, of course they are going to be borrowing uh, quite a little bit in, uh, from physics, but it's mm -hmm. something which can be acquired hands-on when you're in, 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 a, in a course. So there is nothing like, uh, I must have taken, for instance, it's only for medical courses that we should say that you must be specific to mm -hmm. biology or chemistry. But whether you failed in mathematics, there is always a starting point. Is it? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the career goal for STEM courses is one thing to be able to employ yourself is quite easy. And again, absorption to the job market is quite, it's quite uh, high. Easy. It's quite easy. Oh, so that's, yes, wh that's why. Yeah. Why you'd advise someone to get into this? Yes, because. Courses? Uh, from the research that have been done, if you only have, for instance, uh, a course in humanities or business, for instance, you don't have any technical skill. You only know I can start a hotel, mm -hmm. but you don't know what goes on in the hotel. Sure. I can start, uh, for instance, a spa or salon or, 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 or barber shop, but you don't know what happens there. Mm -hmm. But somebody who has done, for instance, hairdressing, already knows how that spa or salon should be able to, to run. Mm -hmm. So it's only now a software for how do you manage it now. But technically, you are well prepared, is it? So you have the skill yet. And to manage it becomes very easy. Okay. Yeah, because it's only a little bit of technology. So we need to supplement for people that have already studied and are already in the job market. Yes. They can definitely take courses to supplement what they already sure. have to be in line with the uh, evolving technology space that we are in kind of sure, right? yeah. okay finally as we come to a close on this uh, how would you say that uh, you know TVET uh, would you say that TVET is a game changer for Kenya and and why sure TVET is a game changer why is because you find that in the last few exams especially K national exams KCSE uh -huh. quite a mass of students uh, score below score below the, uh, the, the cut-off point for university. Mm -hmm. And you see, initially, you are being, <laughs> we are being programmed mentally. Study hard. You go to university, you get uh, unemployment. Mm -hmm. But currently, you find that those who, who pass are quite few than those who fail. Sure. So where do they go? Because we, we, we want to have a hustle-smart, hustle-smart economy. Mm -hmm. That you are not just there. What can you do as an, as an expert? You're being productive. Yes, you, yes, productivity. So to bridge that gap, TVET is coming to help in bridging the skills gap in the, in the, in the uh, national uh, uh, industry or national economy by having everyone at least has a special skill that can be, that is employable or is productive when put into business perspective. Mm -hmm. So the future is TVET. Okay. Yes, you find that even in, in the universities, currently they're having the university and a TVET within the same. Mm -hmm. That tells you even them they have realized that the future is not in the bachelors or whichever. That's, mm -hmm. that's a lie that we, well, that we have lived for wrong. Okay. You don't require that much. Just have at least one employable skill. Wow, yeah. amazing. Just have at least one employable skill. Yes. What, what would you want to say uh, as... as one thing that someone should take home from the whole conversation mm -hmm. and maybe you can speak directly to your camera this is your camera okay so as take uh, take home uh to the viewers of y24 especially the youths mm -hmm. uh the future is just about what you can do with your skills not the papers that you have you can be a certificate uh, or a holder or diploma holder or artisan holder but what will matter in the industry is can you be able to convert that into employable or something which can be able to earn you revenue. We should say you run, then you remove the L, you start to earn. So the courses that we have are quite well connected to the, to the industry and you can be able to convert that either to, to a business enterprise or you be absorbed in the job market. 
The future, like we are saying, is courses which are technical, electrical, engineering, prabbing, uh, prabbing and water engineering, uh, journalism. Um, we have courses in uh, mechanical engineering, motor vehicle. We have courses in uh, beauty and hairdressing. We have those courses that we have, you are going to get a skill. So in your career development, just reconsider having at least one skill that can convert into money. Thank you. Wow. Amazing. Amazing, thank you. Where can people get, get you, you if uh, someone wants to reach out? Okay, you can reach us out in Dika Town. Uh, building is an alien center just opposite uh, Dika Stadium. You can also reach us uh, via our, our telephone number 0722 518 307. I repeat again, 0722 518 307. You can also reach us out on our Facebook, TransAfrica College Thika, or TransAfrica Accountancy and Management um, uh, College Thika. Thank you. Okay, thank yeah. you very much, thank Bernard, you, for coming on board and sharing amazing insights around uh, how our TVET institution looks like and the importance of having employability skills. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. Okay. All right, so that has been a wonderful conversation with one Bernard Gishuhi, who's the Dean of Professional Studies at Transafri College. I hope you have a take home from this. Uh, if you've just listened, make sure you have an employability skill, and TVET institutions are there to uh, offer this to you, all right? So we're going to take a short break and then we'll be coming back with more Val and Brian Sakwa are, uh, will be coming on your screens in not too long. Remember the hashtag to use is one in the morning at Y254 channel. See you in a bit.